like Lionel Overnight, what a ride, what a time Hey, what's going on guys, Digna in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now, before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you guys, only about 50% of the people that are watching this video right now are actually subscribed. So it really would help me out a lot if you were to go ahead and do that. And, you know, if I end up being a dickhead, you can always unsubscribe later. Uh, so yeah, without being said, let's get right into the video. So instead of giving you guys a sort of, you know, 25 minute tutorial on how to actually make this effect, I'm just going to give you guys the project file that's like easily changeable so you don't actually have to do any work. And also, I'll just explain how it works for you guys so no one that gets uh, left out feels bad and I don't get death threats in my comment section. So, uh, win win for everyone, essentially. Let's get right into the tutorial. So, as you can see right here, we've got uh, all our adjustment layers uh, and everything is looking good. Now, I've named everything right here. So, at the top, you have the pink overlay, uh, which is just right here, you know, pink. Uh, we have the radial blur, this is just, you know, where it comes in. We have the flicker, there's some flicker on it. And we have lens blur as well. Yeah, as you can see, there is lens blur. So, all is good, all is right. Uh, right here, they have the profile picture. This is just the movement on the profile picture. Plus, the light sweep. Looks quite cool, in my opinion. I'll be using it a lot for my recent, you know, uh, old Reddit quotes sort of stuff, I guess. Uh, it's better than a normal ident, in my opinion. Uh, down here, we have the stretch. This is just the stretch that comes in right here. So very, very nice. You can just go ahead and delete this if you don't want it. Not really that important to the actual clip. Uh, <clears throat> down here, we have the movement. Now, this is just essentially two blurmo curves, and it just goes left to right in the smoothest possible way I could get it to work. Uh, so quite cool. I wouldn't really play around with this if I were you, unless you need to do some major changes to the actual clip. Uh, now, down here, we have the text layers that you need to change. So, if you have a different song, for example, and it says, like, you so, what, uh, whatever, I don't know, you change this bottom one, this bottom one with the last one, or the left one. So, you just go ahead and go to the text thing right here, just double click on this, and you just type in left right here. If it doesn't work, you can just go to the V tool or the arrow tool up here, the selection tool, and just move it to the right. Uh, as long as you're at the start of the track, it really doesn't matter. Uh, now just go and do the same thing for the other text track and that should be it for the text now down here We have the tint. This is just a tint that comes in right here uh, You can honestly delete that if you don't want the first part you can delete this as well. Uh, you don't really need it uh, So yeah, that is completely up to you uh, Down here. We have the magic bullet looks and it's just an adjustment layer with as you could have guessed the magic bullet looks so uh yeah you can go and delete this if you don't want it to be pink i guess it'll look like that so significantly worse in my opinion uh but you know up to you uh <laughs> lastly down here we have the twixter i've added this on an adjustment layer to just make it a whole lot easier for you guys to actually replace the clip with your own so down here what you need to do is replace these two you need to sync up the song obviously if you already have like an ongoing project you can just go ahead and drag in the project file delete the song and just sync it up and the clip can be easily hot swapped as well so uh the, the clip will be in the description uh, as well as the project file and the overlay and whatnot but you will need to uh switch swatch this what the fuck am i saying you need to switch this obviously uh, but that should be very easy. You can just drag in your new one and just sort of sync it up, right? And you should have uh, your own fucking effect, I guess. So yeah, very cool. Uh, I just also want to say before I end of the video that thank you so, so much for the recent support on my non-tutorial videos. Uh, they've been doing much, much better than my tutorials lately. And I really do get, want to thank you guys for that because, you know, it means that I can actually stop with the tutorials eventually and just start going into the, uh, you know, the content side of YouTube and not just tutorials. So thank you guys so, so much for showing me so much love on those videos. And uh, yeah, that is really about it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days and peace.